Hey gang. Well, this old place ain't what it used to be. I'm standing outside of the old junkyard where apparently this has become a victim of Beautify Boonville. And, uh, well, last time I was here, I told you guys that the, uh, the, uh, the original owner, the original owner's family wanted nothing to do with this place when he passed away. And, uh, well, the city has decided to do something about that problem. And, uh, well, as you guys can see just a little bit, um, it's basically being cleaned up, torn down, and uh, probably pretty soon there's not going to be anything left of this whole place. And it's kind of sad. And uh, you, know, you see all this garbage they're trying to pile into the, to the uh, dumpsters. You can see there's a big pile of dirt and sticks right there. And, uh, you know, honestly, it just kind of makes me sad to see this whole place go. Um, used to come down here all the time, cashing cans, make some good money. A lot of people did. But, uh, well, I mean, it's just really, it really just shows you guys that, you know, times around here in Bloomville is getting rough and tough and worse. And uh, when they got to try to clean out a place like this just to try to make this town look even better, I got to say, in all honesty, they're making a huge mistake. Because, to be honest with you, gang, a tornado could rip through this town, tear down everything. They could rebuild this town within less than a year. It would look ugly all over again. The problem with this town is not really so much of a... Wow. <laughs> I'm looking at the road. I look over here like, holy crap, look at that thing. This has probably been sitting there for years. The problem with this town is not the town itself that's ugly it's the people that make this town ugly it's the bad decisions it's uh the money that the city council brings in to fix up places that don't need to be fixed up or have at least that much money to fix up a certain place that doesn't really need it and you see stuff like this just being destroyed it just kind of breaks your heart i mean the owner the owner's family probably could have done something a little bit better with this place, but the city steps in and goes, no, we'll take care of it for you. We'll pretty much just wipe out and clean out all the junk around here because we want Boonville to look better. Sorry, folks, that's just not going to happen. As long as you got people around here who are uncaring jerkheads and people around here who are trying to do everything they can to make a little bit of money as fast as they can... This town is never going to redeem itself. It's always going to be a, a real crap hole. It's always going to be a dump. You got your drug heads. You got your jerk heads. You got your corrupt city officials. You got people around here that would rather just see this place go downhill faster and faster and faster. And then they wonder, why do so many people want to move from move away from this good hometown? Well, stuff like this happens. That's why. Nobody wants to hang around a town where, where nothing's happening, where there's no jobs, where there's no good life, nothing. So what do you do? I mean, what can you do? So if the city's really wanting to get this place torn down, cleaned out, just to make this town look better, Good luck, but it's not going to work. So anyway, gang, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on out of here. Go get this bad boy uploaded here in a little bit. Got it. Going to try and do a couple more videos through the weekend. Show you a little bit more of what the junkyard looks like before I conclude this video. So hope you're having an awesome weekend. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. Let's stop trying to destroy the world. Let's help others out there who really, really need it right now. Let's keep praying this virus nightmare is going to end very, very soon. Thanks, thanks everybody. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. And whether or not you believe in God, He believes in you. See you guys next time. Till we do this again. As always, stay strong and rock on.